Welcome to a quick look at Mars 2030, which just released on Steam for f about 15 euros or the equivalent in your local currency. And um, yeah, it's a Mars exploration experience, and I am a sucker for Mars. It was actually assisted, I think, by NASA, as in they provided some data. Uh, and yeah, it's, let's take a look how it goes. I just bought it on the whim because I really like Mars. Okay, let's go slave slot one. So the Mars view was also quite fantastic. This looks nice. Confirming authorization. We're clear for stage separation. Detach sequence ready. Oh, that's nice. That's actually pretty neat, neat um, touch. Sequence initiated. Delta DOR reading nominally. Ooh. Ooh. That's exciting. Wow. I don't know why, but this actually gave me goosebumps. They look a bit tiny. Uh, ah, yeah. It could be proper sized. I don't know. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Nervous, nervous, nervous. Also, excuse the quite low resolution of the image. Well, of the video of the image. Because, um, the social screen actually shows both eyes so I have to crop it to not induce any nausea uh, for 2D monitor viewers and I don't know if it's suitable even for for kind of cell phone VR like like gear VR uh, because you only see my hip movements Wow So I think this is the next best thing we get to actually being on Mars, which we might actually not do. Okay, not everything is animated in here. <laughs> some some things are quite static. Ooh. Obligatory sci fi AI companion. Okay, that was spectacular. Not that interactive. I just pressed one button and looked out of a window. But still, I, I have a very soft spot for, for those Mars things. It's, it's my favorite. It was my favorite destination or, or our home. Thanks, Haley. Location. Mission control of your successful landing, I would suggest getting used to the Martian surface. Okay, guess we got crests. And are floating above ground. Time getting used to moving around Mars before we get started. I can turn like that. Wait, I don't like. I can move like that. Okay, wait, I guess I need to turn. Can't turn. Oh, I can turn like this as well. Oh, I like that. I like that. Okay, soul one, so it's Under day one. Options, you can enable or disable comfort mode and adjust its settings. Okay, there's the rover. Sporty. There's another one. So let's go to that spot that's indicated. There's a flag. Find a need to reorient your field of view. Press the recenter camera button. Ooh. Ooh, I can ping. And I guess all the green glow bits are interesting. Place the flag. Press your jump button to 
experience the gravity on Mars. Oh! Hey, <laughs> That's nice. Oh, yeah, it's, it's. I guess it's just just a third of what it would be on Earth. I don't know if that texture is right. The Z2 spacesuit features greater movement capabilities than its predecessors. Try sprinting by moving while holding down the sprint button. I can sprint. Look at me. I can sprint. To assist in researching the history of Mars, a geoscanner was built into the Z2 spacesuit. Yeah, and just the did that. To scan for interesting rocks. I already did that. The geoscanner will highlight rocks that warrant further investigation. Walk to these rocks and press and hold the interact button to pick them up. Hey, where, where's, where's the closest of those rocks? It's over there. Looks like we're ready to plant the mission flag. How would you like to do the honors? Oh, I would love to. First, look at this interesting rock. It's interesting. And I can actually put it inside my visor, which should be unhealthy. Whoops. Okay, it's frame rate's a bit chuggy. So let's place this flag. Flag is placed. Okay, so there is where we landed, and over there is what going on. I guess those were. Okay, I'm ready to head to the habitat. Let's make our final preparations and take the rover home. Ah, there's the landing zone. Acknowledged. Transmitting confirmation. Tony and I will take Emma EB2 to inspect the inflatable field camp. Four requests before we head in. Okay, stay safe. We'll move on to the habitat when we finish up here. Okay. Should should it tell me anything about the landing mode module? I hope that's not a bug. I want to, I want to know about the landing module. Ah, okay. So let's take the Zev. No. Hello. Destination habitat. Updating your map with the location. Thanks. If you need a quick refresher okay. on piloting the MMSEV rover, use the interact button on the manual. There's an emo button. Ah, uh, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. If you would like to view a 2D map of Mars, Use the interact button over the map console in the rover. Exit. What's that? Oh, there's nothing. If the bumpy Mars terrain is not to your liking, select a location on the map and then interact with the fast travel button. Okay, this 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 is the fast travel button, I, I suppose. That oh, is a bit too close for my liking. Yeah, I, I noticed that. Options. Gameplay. Natalie to mission control. First communication. Control. MMSEV1 to Earthcom. We're in the rover, heading to the hab. Okay, it, it, it doesn't show me how, how to actually pilot the rover. Okay. So there's my stick that I can only remind me, Haley. Exactly how long are we on Mars? The mission duration is 537 Earth days, or 520. Okay, I, I can strafe fine left and right. Longer than one of Earth's days. I can't. The ah, there's the manual. Can I do anything with your manual? No, I cannot. Hey, 
Okay. Well, okay. Can you tell us about the oh, 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 no. 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 Oh, Okay, this is no, not that right. optimized, so the frame rate's a bit chuggy, and uh, I'm afraid of that thing. Drives just like on the Mars test yard. Okay. I've seen this path many times. Okay, in okay. It feels familiar. Okay, so you twist to turn, push forward to go forward, or we're holding the trigger, and. Uh, Push it sideways to strafe. So let's not follow the trodden path, but go straight for the waypoint. I think I figured it out. Okay, there's a flag that I don't know what it does. I guess it's kind of a discovery zone. But she looks nice. Hello, nice one. So, Ferrari, this ain't. Oh no, oh no, I think I might have broken something. So it's, it's 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 not very reliable in in its turning or stopping to turn, but it is very reliable in making me queasy. No 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 no! That's not what I want to do. No no. <laughs> no forward forward yes yes. Wow, to no, I, I don't want to strafe. I want to turn the fucker. No, don't turn that way. Oh, thank God this thing is so slow. Also, no, I don't want to turn on comfort options so let's see what awaits us if, if okay I, I saw a glimpse of the habitats there are the habitats guess those are some solar panels all right and there's a guy sneaking about. He looks, he looks shifty. He looks very shifty. Oh, that's a robot. Robots cannot be shifty. Not at all. Hello, moonwalking robot. Or should I say, Mars walking robot. A robot. I cannot say robot anymore. Also, this is not how I want to drive this thing. Okay, no, no, turn right. No, 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 don't drive right, turn right. I, I don't want to flatten the habitat. <sighs> Let me take a quick breather. You have entered the docking pad and can now initiate the docking sequence. Okay. Now that was scary, for all the wrong reasons. But still, it's... I mean, wow, janky as fuck. But... I do love Mars. What can I say? It's Mars. Also, the screen's black. Hmm. I don't know if that's a good sign or not. Okay. 
Hmm. I don't want to be pessimistic, but I think it might have crashed. Um, I wonder I didn't crash with the rover. And um, on that black screen, I think it's time to say goodbye and good night.